got from you, I. Banded fam, this is Bailey, and I'm here with John Foley. Hello, What's John. up, everybody? How's it going? <laughs> okay, so I want to congratulate you on the Spears EP. Thank you. And so my first question regarding that, because it pretty much was long awaited, how long did it yeah. take for you to work on this EP in total? Um, so I was going through some like folders the other day and I found the contract that I signed with the, uh, the guy who recorded it and it was signed in 2017. So it's been, uh, it's been four years, but in that there was also um, Spectres was recorded in that time too. So it hasn't been four years, like just for these five songs, but yeah. including like from start to finish it. Yeah. It's been four years. It's been quite the journey. <laughs> I can imagine that's, that's crazy, man. That's beyond crazy. Okay, out of every song on this EP, which one was your favorite to write? Um, my favorite to write was probably Follow the Water. Um, it has the most lyrics too. I didn't realize how many more words it had than the other songs until I was designing the, uh, the photo book. Yeah. And I, was, and I could hardly fit it all on the, pa on the little page. It's like, there's a lot, which means I was having a good time writing it. <laughs> I mean... just kept going. I mean, that summer song of all time. Right, some have said, some have said. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not releasing this EP at a great time because of course it's about to be spooky season. Mm -hmm. And one of the songs, Hey Little Witch, is obviously a very perfect song for spooky season. Yeah. So I wanna, so I wanna ask you in general, what is your favorite not spooky song? my favorite spooky song that's a good question um I would, there's the classic spooky scary skeletons that's the first one that pops into mind um but i think the uh the eagles have a song that's like kind of halloweeny yeah i can't think of i think it's on um let me see can't think of it oh it's um teenage jail maybe oh. it's off that I, I think I think that I think that's it here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not like really a Halloweeny spooky song, but it has the vibe for it. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> so, you've been streaming on Twitch for almost a year now, and you've been doing great, and great with that, obviously. Thank you. And compared to a live audience, what's your favorite part about having a Twitch audience? Mm. Yeah, they're, it's it's so different, but there's uh like there's different positives and drawbacks it's not just like one is better than the other yeah uh there's obviously like the live show you don't have that like raw energy from the crowd but you also don't have the uh, ability to like talk to people one-on-one -on -one at a live show or at an in-person show there's like twitch that's by far my favorite part of twitch is like talking to people in the chat and you like getting immediate you know one-to-one -one interaction with people um at all times not just like in between songs, if you have like a minute for banter or whatever, it's constant. Although sometimes it's distracting because I'll be in the middle of a song and like somebody will drop a joke or something and then it'll totally like throw me off the song and I'll forget the words, but that's all part of the fun. And I, and of course I can admit, I'm guilty of doing that mm -hmm. far too many times. The resident meme queen, of course. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of Twitch, so of course you've been on a bit of a hiatus for a while. Yeah, it's turned into a much longer hiatus than I anticipated, but yeah, we'll be back in October, I think. Yeah, I was actually just about to ask you mm -hmm. when you think when we'll see you back on Twitch. Yeah, so I'm hoping um, the wrist, I was out for a wrist injury for a little bit. That seems to be pretty fine now. We'll see what happens. Hopefully it stays all good. Um, but once we get past the release, I'm doing a lot of like videos this week and things get ready for it. I'm working a music festival next week. So after all that has calmed down, definitely coming back to Twitch. I'm very excited to be back. Oh, and I'm and I'm ready for it. It's been so it's mm -hmm. so weird. Not, <laughs> yeah. not, not to not wait for not for your streams. Like I'll wait for the notification sometimes. I'm like, oh, he's mm -hmm. he's on hiatus right now. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's weird. It's like it, my whole schedule was like those were that was a cornerstone of my schedule for so long. Yeah. And then it was gone. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing with myself. <laughs> yeah, because I remember like when you said that um you send a message to the Discord. You were done. You're mm -hmm. like, hey, I'm going to be on hiatus for a while. Like, I just got off yeah. the plane in Nashville, and I was just like, ah, oh, damn it. I was going to use this <laughs> entertainment for a little while. Yeah, right. <laughs> but back soon enough. Yes. And 
also, of course, another Twitch related no, question. I wanted to ask if mm -hmm. you learn any new songs to cover or not for future streams. For future streams, yeah, I was, um, last night actually, I was playing um, Tonight by Ozzy Osbourne off of Diary of a Madman. So that's one. There's There are a couple that I've been working on in the past like week that I'm very excited to have some new songs to come back with. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, another and Twitch related one. Um, you mm -hmm. also have played a few unreleased, unrecorded tracks during streams. Any I idea do. on when you'll possibly be recording them? Um, as soon as we, as soon as I get past this release and you know, have uh, have that all handled, then the next thing will be to start recording the next album. So, um, well, it has to be like writing and recording. I would hope within the year to start actually recording these. But it's not going to be four years. It's not, not going to be that long of a wait between this one and the next one. Yeah. I promise that. Well, I'm looking forward to today. I can finally hear no, a recorded version of Flame. I can tell oh, you. Oh, yeah. I'm excited for that one. <laughs> So with this EP, you released three no, songs out of five as singles before the EP's mm -hmm. release. Halo of Witch, Fall of the Water, and the famous Ace is High. When it, comes, when it comes to the remaining two, which one are you most excited for people to listen to? Um, I'm definitely most excited about Another Lover. For me, it seems like kind of a bonus track for this, for, for the whole Spectres and Spirits, like era if you will yeah. um like i think all the songs are like tied together pretty well and are kind of the same vibe the same energy and then mm -hmm. another lover is much more like americana kind of country-ish a little bit um and it's the last song on the album so it, it just seems like a bonus track it's like totally different to me uh than the other ones but i'm really excited it's it's probably my favorite of the bunch yeah it's it's really it's really good i love it thank you you're welcome so my favorite song off this EP is What Fades Away. Mm. And, and I wanted to ask you, what's the story behind that certain song? What Fades Away? It, it's so hard, um, like, getting back to, uh, like, the writing process to these songs and, like, what they were about, because it was so long ago that I wrote a lot of these. Um, but this one, What Fades Away, um, looking at it now I can't tell you for sure what I meant when I wrote it but now looking at it it's just like about kind of being uh you know lost and each song has the spirit of something so this is the spirit of the lost which will yeah um be posted pretty soon in those pictures and in the oh I don't have the photo book to grab but um to get back to the question yeah it's just about kind of being like lost rudderless like not really sure what to do and it just having everything kind of like um although it's been like swirling around you and like kind of being a little bit overwhelmed and just yeah lost basically I get that and last night I was actually like when I was preparing my questions I was listening to the song on repeat because I was trying to think of like different quote different kinds of questions and so mm -hmm. one of the things I thought of was okay I want to know like what the story is behind yeah. this song because I just I <laughs> I think out of every song on this EP, that's the one I can't get enough of. It's so good. Oh, really? Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I glad. love it. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool one. And it took a lot of people. Um, the guitar solo on there was probably the like fourth or fifth person that played guitar on that. We tried so many different people playing on it. And it's it's a pretty like, I would consider like an album song. It's not super like, I never saw it as like a, a single. It's like very much representative of everything and yeah. more of like a, a deep cut um in my opinion we just like could not get it to work because there's you'll hear it when it comes out there's it's a very guitar heavy it's very instrumental yeah. um and we're like how do we fill these gaps with everything and have it sound right and a bunch of different people played and it just like wasn't coming together and then my friend um scott paris who i was in a hair metal band with for a little bit um he came on it and just like blew it out of the water. Very like Santana vibes on it. And as soon as like while he was playing, I was like, this is it. This is the take. Like we finally, we got it. It was really cool. And it worked, and it worked out very well. That's mm -hmm. very <laughs> yeah, amazing. I think so. <laughs> okay. My last question is, okay. how are you feeling knowing that this EP is finally being released? I'm very happy. It's uh, obviously it's, like always stressful to like, actually have it go out and like a little nerve wracking 
but I'm so excited to have it done. And I have the, let me see if I can grab the photo book really quick. I think I see it. Give me one okay. second. Okay. Yeah, so I'm especially excited about this. Uh oh, I'm unplugged. One second. <laughs> there we go. Am I back? Yes. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. So this is the first time that I've done um, a physical for like a physical copy. Yeah. So this is the the CD for it. It's I'm so I'm super excited to have it released. Oh my god, I love it. Um, <laughs> more than the others there's just so much work went into doing all these so there's um get like a credit list and everything there's lyrics for each of the songs in there and then some extra special stuff that i'll save for uh the people who buy it but it's been so especially because of that i'm so excited to get it released uh, and then looking forward like i wrote these songs so long ago that I've written a lot of songs in the meantime, like the ones I was doing on Twitch, like you were talking about. And I'm really excited to just like move on to the next thing. Not that I don't <laughs> love this batch of songs, cause I do. Yeah. But I'm just, after so long, I'm like so excited to be working on the new songs that are new to me, you know? Yeah. I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't blame you. I mean, after that long, long process and of course, mm -hmm. and hearing you about perform these unreleased unrecorded songs in the, on Twitch I'm just like I would just sit and wonder just like oh my god I'm ready to hear a recorded version of this because yeah. they, they're because they're amazing like I love I thank love you. the lyrics you write thank you thank you I do think that I've um come a long way as a songwriter even from spirits to the newer things and it's weird being an artist like you're always people are always seeing an outdated version of you because like, I mean, most people didn't take them four years to record, you know, these songs <laughs> put them out, but you're still like, if you wrote them last year, when people are like consuming that those songs, you're already writing the next song. So you've already like moved on a little bit, but everybody else is like, oh, this is the new stuff. It's like, well, the new stuff is like what I'm working on now. And mm -hmm. so everyone is just like a step behind you at, at all times. It's, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, because no, while um while another thing I was saying while I was going like coming up with questions last night um I mm -hmm. started listening to um your previous EPs and I was just like oh my god he's come a long way and yeah this uh, this EP is, is a huge step up even from Spirit uh, Spectres which was recorded you know at the same time like I mentioned yeah uh, this is the first EP that's really like sound all the songs sound like how I imagine them sounding. Um, it's just like really with every other EP, it's like, I liked it, but it wasn't, you know, what I was picturing. It wasn't like quite up to the standard that I hoped it would be, but spirits is the first one that it meets that standard. Like I'd still listen to these songs. I don't really listen to the old EPs as much, but like this one, every now and then I'll still listen to the music, even though I play it all the time. So it's, mm -hmm. it's just really satisfying to finally have it all like come together and the vision be like completed, you know? Yeah, I'm proud of you, John. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Vanessa, with that, thank you for joining us today. I had a lot of fun yeah. talking to you. Me too. It's always a good time, and I'll uh, see you on Twitch pretty soon. We'll be yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm ready. I'm beyond mm -hmm. ready. <laughs> Me too. All right. Thank you again. Yeah, we'll see you next time. All right. Bye. Bye.